This print is by the 17th century Dutch artist Rembrandt van Rijn. A group of peasants gather to see the infant Christ. Like many examples of Rembrandt's sacred art, this work visualizes the spiritually transforming power of sight. For the men, women, and at least one child who lean in to get a closer look, the sight of this sleeping baby is a revelation of disguised glory. Furthermore, the structure of Rembrandt's composition draws the viewer's own spiritual imagination into the light that is this resting child's divine radiance. As the humble visitors arrive, Joseph rises from an overturned wheelbarrow to welcome them as honored guests. Rembrandt has compositionally balanced the figures at the left with two cows on the right. As a result, the Holy Family is compositionally central. Although this print is titled The Adoration of the Shepherds, there are actually no sheep depicted. Rembrandt seems less concerned with illustrating a narrative drama than with visualizing an inner spiritual event. The subject of Rembrandt's print is the revelation of the divine infant to ordinary people. At the recognition of Christ as the incarnation of God, one man removes his hat in realization that he is in the presence of the sacred. Perhaps the most dramatic actor in this image is not a person, but rather light itself. Rembrandt's method synthesizes natural light and sacred light. There is a lamp on the wall that both illuminates and casts shadows, but the shadowless figure of Christ has his own radiance. This light, both natural and supernatural, creates a sort of halo around the center of this humble scene. This halo of sacred light is inclusive of more than just Christ and Mary. It also includes Joseph, and it even envelops several of the peasants. Rembrandt's inclusion of these common people within the halo might be read as a visualization of their spiritual transformation. In this moment, as they see, recognize, and adore Christ, these so-called shepherds are enfolded into the realm of the transcendent. Through Rembrandt's print, the viewer is also a witness to this revelation of disguised glory. Rembrandt knew that the viewer's eye will focus from areas of shadows towards areas of light. Using this visual gravitation from darkness into light, Rembrandt structured both the positions of his figures as well as the space that they occupy to draw the viewer into this ordinary moment and towards its spiritual focus. The visual and spiritual focus of Rembrandt's print is the sleeping Christ. However, the figure who is arguably most important to the viewer's own participation in this scene is the standing man in the long coat. This man is a surrogate figure. He is the figure with whom the viewer can imaginatively identify. It is through the surrogate figure that the viewer is transformed from an outside spectator of this depicted narrative to someone who is present in the stable. Notice how Rembrandt has situated the surrogate figure, and by extension the viewer, at the very edge of the previously described halo. 
in this very moment, the surrogate figure is stepping into the light. Rembrandt's print invites the viewer's imagination into the presence of the sacred. Rather than simply depicting a religious drama of shepherds adoring Christ, Rembrandt's art visualizes a proposition. This is a proposition that the sight of Christ's disguised glory is spiritually transforming. It only remains for each viewer to see and respond for themselves.